Welcome to the Automated Daily, Tech News Edition. I'm your host, Trend Teller, and today, on the 24th of August, 2023, we have a lot to cover. From Google's new Gmail safeguards to the latest malware targeting macOS users, and from Qualcomm's new gaming chips to Samsung's optimism about foldable phones, we've got it all. So, let's dive right in. Starting with Google, the tech giant has decided to bolster its security measures for Gmail users. Now, if you're forwarding emails or changing filters, and Google senses a potential risk, you'll need to verify your identity. This enhanced security feature is already being rolled out to both Google Workspace and personal Google account users. Moving on to cybersecurity, a new variant of the XLoader malware has been found targeting macOS users. Disguised as the Office Note app, this malware is an infostealer and botnet that's been active since 2015. This is the first time it's been seen targeting macOS users, a trend that's likely due to the growing popularity of macOS devices in enterprise environments. Next up, Qualcomm has unveiled its new Snapdragon G-Series handheld gaming portfolio. This includes three tiers of chips for gaming devices, each designed for a specific type of gaming experience. The company is also exploring compatibility with operating systems other than Android, such as Valve's Proton and Apple's Game Porting Toolkit. Let's talk about YouTube now. If you're tired of the cluttered homepage filled with recommendations, there's a guide on how to clear it. By turning off the YouTube Watch History option and deleting past activity, you can achieve a clutter-free homepage. WhatsApp has rolled out several new features aimed at enhancing user experience and productivity. These include screen sharing during video calls, sending high-quality photos and videos, voice chats in groups, editing sent media captions, and even creating groups without names. Over to Samsung India, the company is expecting foldable phones to contribute significantly to their sales this year. Their fifth-generation foldable phones, launched in July, have already received 150,000 pre-bookings. Interestingly, these phones are gaining more popularity in non-metro and rural areas. The UK's handling of the Microsoft deal to acquire Activision Blizzard has raised some eyebrows. The UK's Competition and Markets Authority, CMA, has been in a dispute with Microsoft over the deal since April. The CMA's objection to the deal is based on concerns that it would hinder competition in the cloud gaming sector. Corsair has announced its first standing desk, the platform, 6, designed for gaming, streaming, and more. The desk comes with dual monitor arms, a cable management tray, and an in-desk storage cubby with built-in USB Type-A and Type-C charging ports. Sony is planning to launch a portable PlayStation later this year. The handheld device, called the PlayStation Portal, will be capable of streaming PS5 games on an 8-inch LCD screen with 1080p resolution at 60fps. Lastly, Apple has issued a warning to users, advising them to avoid sleeping with their iPhones connected to chargers. The company cites health risks, specifically the risk of burns and fires, due to the heat produced by iPhones while charging. And that's a wrap for today's edition of the Automated Daily, Tech News Edition. I'm Trend Teller, and I'll be back tomorrow with more tech news that matters. Stay safe, stay informed, and keep innovating.